sharks is a unique species. Um, you know, we know it as this iconic ocean species with, um, you know, growing up watching movies like Jaws. And it, it is true that um, it's a very emotional fish that, that sparks fear in some people. Um, there's no question. Um, but it is also, unfortunately, one of the shining examples of what happens with an unregulated, unmanaged fishery. Um, sharks are basically unregulated um, in their catching throughout the world. There's, In this case, there's probably only five to 10 countries that have any controls whatsoever on sharks. And other than that, it's basically a free-for-all. Oh. And there's no really good estimates, but there's been some approximations. And roughly speaking, it's going to be um, 800,000 to a million sharks a year are going to be uh, killed for their meat, for their fins, and for their oil, by and large. Um, and as I said, it's a completely unregulated fishery. One of the unique problems, too, with sharks is that, by and large, they reproduce very slowly. Um, mm -hmm. This is a species that often takes many, many years to reach maturity. Um, and with the very few exceptions, a lot of these sharks are either uh, critically endangered, threatened, or um, at least on that path to becoming uh, potentially extinct. And it's uh, unfortunately, it's a it's a very sad story. Um, the my organization, we were involved with a, another one of our partners, um, um, a, a gentleman by the name of Leonardo DiCaprio, who you might have heard of. Mm. Oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, Leo, um, Leo's a diver, and Leo, I think, really um, heard this story about sharks and wanted to do something about it. And so we were involved with them in creating a, a separate funders collaborative that really is just focused on sharks. Mm. And there were several uh, generous and strategic uh, institutions that joined this. Um, uh, Paul Allen Foundation, um, um, a group called the, the Helmsley Charitable Trust joined it, a group uh, called the Angel Family Foundation joined it, and there's right now five or six donors that are participating in this shark conservation fund, and their goal is to try and be strategic across the globe of trying to change these numbers and try to improve shark management around the world. Um, and they're having some remarkable early success, but they've only been around a couple of years, and this is an issue that I think we're all going to have to spend a lot more time on in the coming decades.